afternoon everybody welcome to wellness wednesday we are here with our last class of the day which is a cardiac rehab session with andrea and i will pass you over to her now thanks very much andrea thanks hi everybody welcome to your wellness wednesday cardiac rehabilitation session um, so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to take you through a chair-based exercise circuit so all I'm going to be using today is two bottles of water um, and a, a sturdy chair. That's all we need for today's session. Um, again, as usual, I've got my tunes here that I'm going to pop on. Um, I don't know if we're still live here at the moment. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're still live. Are oh, we? My screen is completely frozen still. Okay, yeah, as long as you're alive, fine. <laughs> Can't see myself as long as you guys can see me. That's brilliant. Okay, so two bottles of water, nice steady chair. So just whilst you're getting all of those little bits together, I'm just going to go through our, our usual sort of safety bits before we start to exercise. So if you have noticed any new changes um, in how you're feeling in your symptoms, please don't exercise today just give it a little miss and make sure you see your healthcare provider um, other than that if you are feeling well if you've got any GTM spray or any inhalers make sure they are nearby um, although the sun is shining it is quite a cold day today so I, I still have my jacket on you just want to make sure that your room is not too hot or too cold and that you've got plenty of space to do the exercises in in fact today you're not going to need a, a, a great deal of space anyway so all you want is your sturdy chair. I'll get my tunes on and then I want you to make sure that you take your time warming up and cooling down with me during the session. Okay, so to start off with, we want to make sure that we start off in a really good seated position. So shuffle yourself to the back of the chair. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor and then just roll your shoulders back and down. So I just want you to imagine that there is a piece of string on the crown of your head and it's pulling your body up nice and tall. So before we do anything, just make sure we have got that good neutral fashion. Okay? Then I want you to give your shoulders a nice roll up, back and down. And then just give it one more. Roll them up, back and down. Lovely. So what we're going to start off with is a little bit of a toe raise. So it's a very gentle warm-up before we get our hearts pumping and get those heart rates up. So what we're going to do is starting off, just raising our toes up and dropping them back down. Lovely. And whilst those toes are raising up and dropping back down, you're maintaining that really tall posture, sitting upright in the seat. Shoulders band, chest proud. So we're making sure we're lifting that chest up. That ensures that when we are breathing in, we're able to fill those lungs all the way up and get that oxygen to the working muscles where it's needed. Okay, lovely. Good job. Then we're going to do a little bit of mobility now. So we're just going to raise one foot up and we're just going to rotate that foot round. Don't worry too much if you can hear sort of any crunching or little cracks or little pops. As long as there's no pain there, that's absolutely fine. Some people may find that they've got a good amount of mobility in that ankle. Other people might find that they're struggling to make that circle. That's absolutely fine. Just keep it in the range that you can have. We're just rotating that ankle round. And then we're going to rotate it around in the opposite direction. Some people may find as well when we come to do the next ankle, they might find that one ankle has slightly more mobility than the other. That's absolutely fine. Again, just do what you can manage. Great stuff. So just drop that foot down. We're going to raise the other one up. And we're just going to take that ankle round. So just a little bit of mobility, getting those 
warmed up, ready to work out before we really get that heart pumping. Great. So, last one, you're going to change that rotation and we're going to move it around in the other direction. Lovely. Good job. We can drop that foot down now. We're just going to come into the upper body now. So, we're just going to rotate our wrist round. So, it doesn't matter which direction we go in first. We're just rotating the rest around, and then we'll be swapping direction, and then we should rotate the other way. Lovely, great stuff. Let's change that round, and we're going to rotate the wrist the other way around. Super, good job. Now, we're going to get those shoulders in now. So we're going to scoop up the shoulder hand. We're going to go back down. So scooping up and scooping back down. Love it. Let's get two more in there. Scooping up. Last one. Scooping up. Back down. Good job. Then we're going to take those hands, palm or palms up. We're going to tap. Tap the shoulders and then extend back down. Lovely. So preparing our body for the exercise. The warm up should be nice and steady. It should be an easy level. Lovely, good job. We're going to go back to our toe raises now. So we're going to raise the toes up and down. And as we do that, we're going to open and close our hands. So we're making sure we've got that good circulation now. Getting that heart pumping. Sending those blood out straight to the toes, straight to the tips of the fingers. You know, some of the medications you might be on, you know, you might feel that your toes and hands can be very cold at times, particularly during the winter months. So this is a good one to just encourage that circulation for those extra gravities down to the toes, down to the tips of the fingers. Lovely. Let's get five more. Four, three, two. One, good job. Okay, we're going to take it to a toe tap now. So we're going to start to elevate our heart rate. So this is the bit now where we want to start to get a little bit of colour into our cheeks. I'm going to increase the heart rate. We're going to increase the breathing. So you might find yourself breathing in and out of your mouth a little bit more now. So just a little bit of a pulse raiser. Super, good job. Always helps if you've got that little bit of music on, and then you can follow those taps to that beat. So I'm always encouraging the music. It always affects my mood, and it always makes me work that little bit harder during my workouts as well. If I've got a nice good beat that I can do. Lovely. Good job. Okay, we're going to swap that toe tap now. We're going to change it into a leg extension. So for the leg extension, we're just bringing that heel on. Leg nice and long. Now, as we're still in our warm-up, we're still in our pulse raise section, you might find that your heel isn't coming as high up as you want to at the moment. That's fine. The idea is that we begin our workout with smaller movements. And we gradually make those movements bigger as we get warmer. Four more there. Well done, good job. Okay, you may want to shuffle a little bit further forward on the seat for this one. This one is our knee raise. So we're just going to lift that knee up and then drop it back down. So again, even though the legs are doing the main little bit of the work here, the muscles around our abdominals, around our tummy, around our lower back, and our oblique muscles as well. So these are our sort of corset muscles that hold our body up. They are all engaged in order to make sure that we keep a good posture while we're in the chair. So just because we're sitting down, it doesn't mean that we're forgetting about those postural muscles. 
Yeah, we're holding ourselves up nice and tall. Okay, super. We're going to go back to our toe taps now. So left and right, tap into the front. Eight more there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. We're going to go to our leg extension now. The leg nice and long. A little bit like we're doing the handstand with those legs. Extension and flexion. So we're still in our warm up pulse raiser section. So again, don't worry about getting those heels and legs right the way up at this point. You know, yours are quite slow and small in your range. That's absolutely fine. We always start with small movements and then we gradually increase them. That one, lovely. We're going to go back to our knee raise now. One knee and then the other. Lovely, so remember corset muscles. Body up nice and tall. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Okay, just take those feet back to the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same action as the bicep curls. We're just coming up to the shoulders and taking them back down. We're going to do eight all together. So we've got four left. Three. Two. One. Lovely. We're going to do a front raise now. So for the front raise, we scoop up and back down. Lovely. We've got eight of these as well. So there's four more left. Three, two, one. Lovely. We're still tapping those toes. We're just going to rotate those shoulders round now, up, back, and down. We're going to get eight rotations in here. Lovely. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, I've got the snowflakes starting to arrive here. Oh, it was a cold one today. Lovely. Then we're going to take our arms out to the side. Back down. So just down to shoulder high. Back down. Lovely. So again, we've got eight here. we are four down, four to go. Four. Three. Two. One. Super, good job. So just give your body a little bit of a shake out now. Make sure that you're nice and loose to relax it out. Grab a little drink if you need to. And then also grab your hand weight for your bottle of water. So what I have here is two 500 ml bottles of water. Uh, so you can use bottles of water, you can use tins of beans. If you've got some small dumbbells, you can use those as well. So we're going to go into our main circuit now. So our main circuit is split into two sections, and there's only four exercises in each section. So for the first section, we're going to do 60 seconds per exercise, and then we're going to speed it up, and we're going to do 15 seconds per exercise, okay? So all we need is those two hand weights, two dumbbells, bottles of water, tins of beans, whatever you choose. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I've got my little second timer on the floor, just timing away so that you guys don't have to. You guys just follow along and I'll let you know when the timer is starting and finishing. So our four exercises for the first part of the circuit are punches, leg extensions, bicep curls and knee raises. Okay, so we're going to start off doing 60 seconds of each of those exercises. Then we're going to break it down to 15 seconds as we speed it up when we get that part. Okay, so we're going to get ready to start with those punches. So feet flat on the floor, body up nice and tall, chest crown, get those fists ready. Okay, by time it, it's going to start on... Now, let's go. So we're at 60 seconds of our punches to begin with. So this gives us 60 seconds to get used to each of the four exercises before we speed it up and we change every 15 seconds. 
Okay, so first part, 60 seconds of each exercise. I've broken them down in this section. So we've got arms, legs, then arms and legs. In the second section, we're really going to get that heart pumping by having the arms and legs together. Okay, so we're 30 seconds down on the punches, 30 seconds to go. So like I always say, a lot of the time with cardiac rehab, and especially so when it comes to heart failure, we can't use a one-size-fits-all approach to the exercise. So what I find is that by giving everybody 60 seconds to the exercise, it gives you a chance to do it at your own pace. Okay, good job. Hold it there. So that was 60 seconds. The next one we're going to go for is our leg extension. So we did the leg extension during the warm-up. But we're just going to make that movement a little bit bigger and a little bit quicker now. Okay, 60 seconds of our lay extension. Are we ready? Off we go. So this time we're trying to get that heel up nice and high. If we can get that leg to full extension, that is brilliant. And then remember, all of those core muscles, we may be sitting in the chair, but these muscles are not relaxing. Yep, they're keeping our body nice and full, they're keeping the chest proud. And again, that imaginary string, crown of your head, pulling your body up, nice and soft. So what we want to be doing in our main workout is making sure these leg extensions are now a little bit bigger and a little bit quicker than what they were in the warm up. So like I was saying before, it's not one size fits all, okay? It's 60 seconds and you do what you can in that 60 seconds, yeah? And that's fine. So you go at your own pace. Lovely, well done, that's 60 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go for our bow set curl, are we ready? Let's go, 60 seconds on there. So this first half of our circuit is slightly easier than the second half in the sense that we're alternating between upper body and lower body. In the second half, we're going to use arms and legs together. Lovely. Check in with your posture during each exercise change. Make sure you're up nice and tall. So by this point, your body is definitely going to be feeling warmer and your breathing rate will be a little bit more heavy now than what it was before. And that is good. We want our hearts pumping. We want ourselves to breathe a little bit heavier. We don't want to be extremely short of breath. So if you're getting really short of breath, just have a little rest and then join back in. Lovely, that's your 60 seconds on the bicep curls. We're going to go to our knee raise now, okay? Again, we did these in the warm-up. We're going to make the movement bigger and quicker this time in our main workout. Are we ready? Knee raise, 60 seconds. Let's go, lift them up. So this time we are trying to get that knee a little bit higher than what we were in the warm up. Now, again, the temptation can be with this one to sit back in the chair. If you do have any uh, backache, back pain, any problems with the back, and you're finding it too difficult to sit upright when doing this exercise, then by all means, make it that little bit easier and lean back. But make sure you keep your chest proud. We just don't want to be slouching. But if you can, it is definitely much better to keep your body upright. Good job, 15 seconds. So this is exercise number four. We're going to start speeding them up and we're going to change the exercise every 15 seconds once we finish with our knee raise, okay? Four, three, Two, one. Good job. Right, we're going to go back to our punches. So in the four exercises, we're going to change each exercise every 15 seconds now. So it's still the same four. Punches, leg extension, five set curl, knee raise. Are we ready? Punches, 15 seconds. 
sort of speeding them up. We're getting more exercises in now, 15 seconds of each one. You got five more left on the punchy. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Straight into your leg extensions now. 15 seconds. Up nice and tall. So we've got those quicker changes now. We did 60 seconds in the first round. We're doing 15 this time. Okay, swap those leg extensions to our bicep curl. 15 seconds. Let's go. Super well done. So we're going to get four minutes of these 15 second changes in if we can. Four minutes in total. So this is round one. Two seconds. And one, we're going to change. Knee raise now, 15 seconds. Lifting that knee up towards the chest. Lovely. So we're one minute down. Three to go now. Three seconds. Two, one. Good job. Straight into your punches again. 15 seconds. So we're on minute number two of four now with our 15 seconds circuit. Crunch it out. 15 seconds. Up nice and tall. Three, two, one. Lovely. Leg extension. 15 seconds. Lift our heel up. Leg nice and long. And we're really starting to get that heart pump in now. Lovely, that's 15 seconds. We're going to switch straight to our bar step curl now. 15 seconds there. Lovely, good job. That's 15. Straight to our knee raises. 15 seconds. Lovely, so we're almost at two minutes. So two minutes down, two to go. Then everybody will have to squeeze it together then. Good job. Well done. Back to exercise number one. Punches. 15 seconds. Lovely. Have a little check in with your body. How does it feel? Can you feel that that heart rate has elevated? Lovely. We're going to swap it now. 15 seconds leg extension. Lift those legs up. So have you noticed that your fingers and toes feel a little bit warmer? You may find that you've got a bit of colour into your cheeks now. I hope you have. Okay, 15 seconds straight to our biceps. 15. Okay, that's 15. Swap it back to your knee raise. Okay, so we're almost at three minutes now. That means we've got one minute left and we'll have that nice little breather. Okay, good job. Back to exercise number one. Punches, let's go. 15 seconds. Lovely, that's your 15. Let's swap it to that leg extension straight away. That's it, heels up, straight to our leg extension. Super. So you don't have to get as many as what I get in in 15 seconds if you do what works for you. Okay, that's 15, straight to your bicep. Lovely. Last 15 seconds left. We're going straight into our knee raise. Let's go. Knees up. 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 Well done. Right, you got five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, guys. Shake yourself off. Grab a little sip of juice, sip of water if you need it. If you're struggling uh, keeping to a fluid restriction, remember the piece of frozen fruit. Ice cube, really good ideas to get in there to feel a little bit refreshed in between. Okay, so that's the first part of our circuit. So the second part of our circuit is very similar. In a sense, we have four exercises. We're going to do each exercise for 60 seconds each to begin with. And then we're going to change each exercise and do it every 15 seconds so that we get four minute block in total. Okay, the difference is this time round, we're combining our arms and legs together for the exercise. 
exercises, okay? So it may increase your heart rate a little bit more than what the first half of the circuit was. So if you found that the first half of the circuit was absolutely fine for you, you don't want to work any harder, then break it down and tune either an arm or a leg exercise, okay? If you're feeling good, though, carry along with me and we'll get both of those in together. Okay, so we'll slow it down to begin with. We've got 60 seconds per exercise, four in total. That gets you familiar with the exercise. And then we're going to break it down, 15 seconds. We're going to run through them for a whole four minutes. Okay, so exercise number one is going to be a hand-to-foot exercise. So again, up nice and tall. Always do your posture check first. And then we are going opposite hand to opposite foot for 60 seconds. Okay, are we ready? Let's get that timer on. Okay, 60 seconds. Let's go. So opposite hand, opposite foot. So first four minutes is more steady. I remember if you're struggling, you don't want to do arms and legs together. You could do just the legs coming up if you want to, or you could do just the hands punching down to the knees in the neck. Yeah, whichever one you prefer. 60 seconds of each exercise. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. So this time now, it's a bicep curl and a knee raise. So for this one, we curl off as one knee comes up, and we swap over as the other knee comes up. Okay, arms and legs together, 60 seconds. Are we ready? Let's go. Bicep curl, knee raise. A full 60 seconds. So remember, that posture, you will find it more and more difficult to keep that good posture, the more tired your muscles get. So really keeping those shoulders back, that chest proud. 15 seconds, come on. Last five, four, three. Two, one, lovely. Next one is a leg extension and a front raise. So it's opposite arm and opposite leg, and then opposite arm, opposite leg. Yep, front raise and a leg extension. Okay, are we ready? 60 seconds. Let's go. So leg and arm, front raise, leg extension. So this is one of those exercises that get, gets the brain switched on as well. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Just wait until two minutes time when we're going to switch these exercises every 15 seconds. That will keep you on your toes. See if we can keep up with it. But remember, your own pace. Yeah, be your own boss. It can't be one size fits all. Yeah. We're all at different levels of fitness, different abilities. We're all at different stages of our heart failure journey. Do what is right for you. Okay, lovely. That was 60 seconds. Next one is just a march now. So again, the weights are in the hands, just swinging the arms. 60 seconds of a march. So again, just see where you're. So hips and shoulders are, are they in alignment? Have you turned and you've sort of slouched back in the chair? Yep, up nice and tall. Okay, so we've done the four exercises now of 60 seconds each. So it's hand to foot, bicep curl with a knee raise, opposite arm and opposite leg extension, and then a march. Yeah, so four exercises. And we're going to swap them every 15 seconds now, lasting four minutes in total. Okay. Even I don't know if I'm going to get this lot right. 15 seconds for a change of exercise. Lovely. Just stop that march now. That was your 60 seconds. Well done. Grab a little sip of an ice cube, piece of cold fruit, 
a little bit of juice, a little bit of water, whatever you need. Just take that little bit of a breather. And relax your body out. Move in a way that makes your body feel relaxed. Yeah? Whatever way your body feels like, it needs to move just to relax. Just for a few seconds before we get off the ball, begin our four minute circuit. Okay, are we ready? So now this is going to be the peak of our workout. Four exercises, changing them every 15 seconds, and it's four minutes of exercise in total. Okay, so just readjust yourself on that seat, get yourself comfortable. I'm going to get my timer ready. We're going to start with our hand to foot. Are we ready? Let's go. So, 15 seconds now of each exercise. We're going to keep that body moving for a total of four minutes. Lovely. That's 15. We're going to change straight away into our knee raise and our bicep curl. Just 15 here. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Opposite arm, opposite leg extension. 15 seconds. Are you with me? Are we getting these changes in? But by the time you get used to doing one exercise, it's already time to go on to the next one. Okay, 15 seconds. Good job. Back to your march. 15 seconds. Loose arm swing. <laughs> Okay, that's 15 seconds of each exercise. We're one minute down, three minutes to go. Are we ready? Let's go. Hand to foot. So opposite hand, opposite foot. 15 seconds. So speed it up or slow it down based on how your body feels. Good job. Let's change. Knee raise, bicep curl. 15 seconds worth. Can anybody remember what the next one is? Opposite arm, opposite leg extension. Are you ready? That's 15. Let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend them out. Nice and long. Reaching out in front. Okay, 15 seconds. What's the next one? Can we remember? It is a march. Okay, 15 seconds march. Nice button, guys. Two minutes down, two to go. We can do this. Let's get through it. Four, three, two, opposite hand, two, opposite foot. 15 seconds. Lovely, ready for the next one. Who knows what it is? Can we remember? No, me neither. I've got it written down. Opposite arm, opposite leg extension. Off you go. Okay, that's your 15. Next one is your march. Nice and steady. 15 seconds, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to do knee raise, bicep curl. Four, three, two, one. Well done, right? Opposite hand to opposite foot again. Minute number three now. 15 seconds goes by really quickly. Super that 15, bicep curl, knee raise. 15. Remember, break it down if you need to. Okay, that's 15. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Reaching out. We're on minute number three. We're almost there. One minute left to go after this. Okay, swap it to that march. Move that arm. Okay, if you are still with me, well done. And if you're going at your own pace, well done. You're listening to your body. You're adapting it for you. You're being your own boss. Okay, last this 60 seconds. Are we ready? Opposite hand to opposite foot. Let's go. 50. 
Okay, the very, very peak of our workout here. We're almost there. Okay, that's 15 seconds. Give me bicep curl and knee raise. 15. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go straight into it. 15 seconds. Well done, we are nearly there. Toughest bit of our workout. Let's get through it. Let's manage what we can. Lovely, that's 15 seconds. Walk it back to your march. Final 15. Well done, guys, you did it. That is the full circuit there. 15 second changes between each exercise. So. Well done if you managed to keep up with those quick changes there. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, good job. Let's pop those hand weights down now. And again, grab yourself a little drink if you need to. So I know my heart rate's been elevated. I've been breathing heavier. I've got rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a drink and make sure you stay hydrated. So. If anybody's been following along with the cardiac rehab, you'll know that now it is very, 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 very important that we cool down in a gentle, steady way. Okay, so what I want you to do, sit back into your chair. Yep, we're just going to do some toe taps. So what we never want to do is just stop, a, stop abruptly, okay, particularly after we've really got that cardio exercise in and and that heart pumping away and breathing heavily. Yep. The only time we stop is when we get an extremely short of breath, and then we have a little bit of breathing. We allow ourselves to recover, and then we go back again. Yeah. So, in really short of breath, that's the only time that you sort of stop abruptly and recover. But even then, if you just tap your toes, you're going to avoid that heart rate jumping too quickly. Okay. So, we're going to just gently Winding back down. This is a bit where you get to feel quite proud of yourself for sort of getting through the peak of that workout. And you just want to relax now into the cool down. Yep, just take it steady. You've done the hard work. Just take your time to bring it back down. Yep, it's really, really important. Lovely, good job. Again, shuffle to the front. We're going to do our toe raise to heel raise. So what we do for that one, toes up, toes drop, heels up, heels drop. So almost like you're sort of rocking from your toes to your heels. Yeah. So you can see how we've managed to break it down to get our cool down in. We've changed from doing arms and legs quite quickly to now doing just the legs, breaking it down, winding the body down. Lovely. Good job. Bring those feet to stillness. And we're just going to scoop the arms up. Just scoop them up. Scoop them back down. Scoop them up. Scoop them back down. Lovely. Okay, bring the palms forward. We're going to touch the shoulders and go back down again. So you'll notice these moves are really similar to the warm up. Yeah, the slower we break them down, they're nice and steady. Just gives our body time to adjust. Time to get back to its normal level again. Lovely, good job. Okay, we're going to take those arms out to the side now, so we're just going to go out and back down. So just to shoulder high. One more in there. Lovely, let's go back to those feet again. So toe taps to the front. Nice and gentle. 
Okay, then back to that rock from our toes to our heels. Yep, up on the toes. Up on the Lovely, back to the arms again, that gentle scoop up. Scoop back down. Scoop up. Scoop down. Two more. Lovely, arms to the front, foot to the shoulder, back down. One more. So then we'll go back to the side. So we go back to the side. Just four in there. Lovely. Back to your feet again. Get your four toe tap. Lovely. Four toe to heels. Two. Three. Four. Lovely. Four front raises. Nice and steady. Four. Three, two, one, pass up, palms forward, four shoulder tap. Three, two, one, lovely. Okay, four side raises. Are you ready? Four, three, two, one. Lovely, good job. Roll your shoulder back and down. You're going to get a bit of flexibility, a little bit of stretching in now. So we're going to take one leg nice and long. Lengthen it as far away from your body as you can. Pull those toes up towards the shin. And we're just going to lean forward with the chest. So we're feeling a gentle stretch now down the back of the leg. And if you want to, you can reach down towards that foot. See where your hand lands. It could be knee, chin, toes. Yep. But what we're not doing is rounding at the back. Keeping the chest down. Body nice and long. Long, 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 Reach the body up nice and tall. 
Stretching it, big, biggest stretch. And exhale it back down. You give yourself a clap. Well done, guys. Good job. Have you managed to stay with me on those quick changes there? Look, well done. Good stuff. Sorry, I got stuck on the screen then. Thank you very much, Andrea. Take care, and we will see you again soon. Take Lovely. care. Lovely. Thanks. Bye. Bye.